easy. It's uh, Jonesy or Simon Jones from Praxis Probiotics and Thrive. And yeah, so I'm just coming to the end of a year of sobriety that I've just done, uh, like next week. I would have been a year since I kind of decided to stop drinking for a year. So I stopped drinking in October 2018 on October the 8th, which was actually a really important date because it was the anniversary of my father's death. He sadly passed away, uh, dying as a result of the combined effects of cancer and chemotherapy, <clears throat> um, which was a big shock and a big wake-up call. And it was one of the key kind of motivators, ultimately, to encourage me to think a little bit more about my own health. Um, in the kind of last eight years, I would suggest that I was alcohol dependent. I've been drinking pretty much every single day without fail for the bulk of the last like five years or so. And as a result of various different stresses and sort of like pains, uh, I'd become an alcoholic. So I decided that I was gonna dr uh, quit drinking for a year as a way of actually trying to raise money for active cancer therapy support, which is an excellent organization that's run by Rob and Sue Oliphant in Nottingham. And I thought this would be a great opportunity to raise awareness about the great work that they do, as well as, you know, kind of like a reset my relationship with alcohol a little bit. It's been an incredible year. It's been one of the most sort of significant and memorable years that I've ever had. Um, and what we thought would be interesting is, is because I'm involved with like Praxis Probiotics, which has been quite ironic really, because we've been specializing in kind of medicinal fermented food and drinks, focusing on gut health. I've been running workshops in the community about how you can improve your gut and boost your immune system via healing the gut. I'm really, really grateful for you participating in this workshop. I'm really excited by this. It's, I'm quite nervous as well. It's only the second uh, kind of quite thorough participatory fermented vegetables workshop that I've ran, which is quite ironic whilst I was like knocking back all of the rosé and strongbow that the, the corner shop had to offer. So, um, yeah, I became more mindful about my sort of like drinking during this period and thought, you know, it's important that I, um, I kind of like knock this on the head a little bit. And I thought I'll take the opportunity to learn as much as I possibly can uh, about kind of alcoholism and maybe addiction a bit more generally and some of the things that we can do to actually um, like deal with and overcome our addictions. levels of difficulty or suffering in their lives that have led them to self-medicate with uh, different substances, do you know what I mean? Whether that's alcohol or drugs or whatever. Um, so I've got that sense of affinity with the people in the house. How people go about sort of trying to overcome their addictions, it's totally unique, it's like totally personal, it's sort of subjective. It, there might be certain like common principles of how to overcome addiction, which I believe there is, uh, but everyone takes their own unique approach, you know? And I feel like I've taken like a, like a relatively unique approach where I've made sure that I've kind of covered them universal principles, which is largely about making sure that you're kind of uh, taking a holistic approach where you're aware of the various sort of holistic needs that we have as human beings and try to make sure that those needs are met. So we're talking about, you know, health needs on a, a like, mental health, physical health, it's about social health. We need a sense of autonomy, we need a sense of control, we need a sense of like being able to have a say about how our communities are sort of like shaped, you know what I mean? And a lot of people are sort of feeling, you know, disconnected and alienated on those levels. There's loads of different levels of like how people are sort of disconnected from really important things and that's, that's what leads to a level of distress often that makes people turn to self-medication in the form of different substances. But I want to share my story, man. I want, to, I want to try and keep it brief, you know what I mean? I've got 15 minutes to smash it out, so that'll be an exciting challenge. And this is one of the main things that I want to really hold up and celebrate, is the power of community. Like, the absolute importance of community and the importance of, like, connection and changing, 
like our lifestyles in ways where we're actually trying to identify where we can find more fulfilling connections with the people in our lives. Um, and of course this is all within the context of like a health crisis. There's a whole long list of sort of 21st century diseases, the rates of which seem to be increasing. There's a mental health epidemic that's going down, like sadly suicide rates are through the roof. There's lots of depression and anxiety and huge amounts of isolation. People feeling extremely lonely in their communities. People disconnected from each other. People disconnected from themselves. People disconnected from nature. I was interested in what can I learn about addiction? And how am I going to you know, implement what I learn along the way? So that's how I decided I was going to approach the year. I was going to try and approach the year proactively, learning about addiction and implementing the different things that I learned along the way. And it's been absolutely fascinating. And increasingly this sort of like idea, this term that I use, you know, I've been using it with Praxis Probiotics and for the last couple of years um, with some excellent people in the community that have been you know, passionate and organising various different sort of like events and projects to do with holistic health and well-being. We've been talking about this idea of thriving and it's like the slogan of Praxis Probiotics, like to thrive together. And what does it take for us as a community to thrive? As I've been on this journey of recovery, if you like, and I've not only been thinking about like, you know, what are the causes of addiction? Why is it that people become addicted to things? And a lot of people, when they think about addiction, they think about like the root of most addictions is actually trauma, like the pain that we're all in as a result of various ways in which we've been traumatized by our lives and by the societies that we live in. And then to me, I was thinking about recovery and I was thinking we're all actually in recovery we've all been traumatized or wounded or affected or damaged dehumanized alienated exploited and oppressed on various different levels and in that sense we're all going through a process of recovery and i was thinking about right you know we can make changes in our lives and we can try and sort of like heal within the context of this society that we're living in or maybe we can actually try and work out what it is about this society and the ways in which this society like traumatizes us also in various different ways. What would a society look like where there was no addiction? What would a society look like where people weren't in so much pain? What would a society look like where people weren't so systematically traumatized, where there wasn't chronic stress going on, where there wasn't so much plunder and oppression and injustice in society, which contributes to the trauma and the pain that people feel and choose to want to escape from. And I was thinking about this notion of recovery and I was thinking about radical recovery. So what is radical recovery? And this idea of like healing holistically. And I've learned a lot along the way about how we can thrive or die together. From gut health to the good life, from the inside out, from the personal to the political. I've been on a journey in this last year where I've been really thinking about what it means to kind of like reconnect with my needs. A massive part of overcoming addiction and overcoming trauma and healing and recovery is about trying to work out how we can have our needs met holistically. We have many different needs. We've got physical needs, we've got psychological needs, we've got social needs, spiritual needs, we have ecological needs. From my point of view, we've got like political needs. There's some big actions coming up that are worth people being aware of, man. There's certain things that are really important that people don't really know a huge amount about necessarily because there's not a lot of awareness about them, like Rojava 
for one thing in northern, northern Syria. That um, is where the movement that defeated ISIS came from. It's a majority Kurdish area. Rojba means west, which means western Kurdistan. Uh, but the movement there isn't just for Kurdish people. It's not just for Kurdistan or Rojba. It's for the whole of northeast Syria, the whole Middle East, and really the whole of humanity. Because this is an eco-socialist, anti-fascist, gender liberatory, anti-capitalist uh, movement that's trying to create a free life for everyone, a free and democratic life for everyone. There's various different needs that we've all got, and I'm passionate and fascinated about trying to understand how we can build a society and build a world where all of our needs are met. And a massive part of this is about getting in touch with what it means to be a human being that can create lives where we're connected, create lives that are meaningful, create lives where we have a deep sense of purpose, create lives where we can pursue our own passions and ultimately try and create the most fulfilling, meaningful, pleasurable, joyous lives that we possibly can, lives that we don't feel that we need to escape from. Due to the nature of how this society is structured under neoliberal corporate capitalism, due to the nature of the state and its abusive tendencies, due to the nature of capitalism as a whole and the ways in which it separates us from each other, from ourselves and from the environment, and plunders ecology and brings us to the brink of extinction because we're living through what is being viewed as the sixth mass extinction event as a result of this society which traumatizes us on so many different levels we are in need of learning more about radical recovery holistic healing and the ways that we can thrive together. So me and my man, Chevy, we met up and we had a little chat about like, yeah, you know, this ain't about me. I'm just one person that's deciding to try and like engage with these issues. And one of the key concepts for all of this is the power of community. The importance of reconnecting, not just with ourselves, but with each other and the wider world. So my man Chevy has been coming along with me as I've been getting involved in various different projects, meeting different people along the way, doing different things to raise awareness about the various different important issues, the various different important projects that we think are really, really important to raise awareness about as we thrive together. So, we hope you enjoy it.